Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 11, and today we're going to compare various types of work holding systems on the lathe. Last week we put in a piece of stock into the four jaw, trued it up, and we noticed that there was about two hundredths of a millimetre run out. That's probably just due to surface finish and the fact that the stock isn't perfectly round to begin with. So in order to have a true test, we're going to use this, which is a ground mandrel. It has been shop soil, there are a few surface uh, finish defects in it so don't feel too bad about gripping it in the chuck um, but we're going to compare this in a four jaw a three jaw the collet system and between centers so we can make a comparison in terms of run out and accuracy and also how long it actually takes to set up so let's start off with the four jaw i am by no means the fastest at this but this was done in about four minutes 50 seconds Next up is the self-centering three-jaw chuck. Now we have it 24 seconds, which is ridiculously slow. Uh, we've recently had these new chuck keys with the spring in to prevent students from leaving them in. It physically cannot be left in the lathe. Um, but a standard chuck key that I'm used to, that will be in there in a matter of seconds. So let's give it a tighten up and we'll see how it is on the accuracy front. 0.03 of run out on the same length. So in effect, way over three times less accurate than the four jaw but then three times faster as well so this method is known as between centers because the workpiece is held between two centers one held in the spindle nose and one a rotating tail stock this is called the catch plate and what we're going to do is affix this known as the drive dog to the workpiece and it requires a centre drilled hole in either end. And essentially the catch plate engages with the drive dog and drives the entire shaft round. And this is actually surprisingly accurate. So we'll engage the DTI and it's within 0.01. The final system to look at is the collet system, which is a specialist attachment to a lathe and it can enable really quick changeover for the batch work. It's a, what's known, this is a 5C collet system, this is an example collet, and you'll have them, bought them at pre-ground diameters. So this is a 25 mil collet, and that's our maximum size. So there is an inherent limit to this particular setup. And in fact, the, the mandrel, the ground mandrel is too big for our biggest collet. So what we're gonna use instead is a 25 mil milling cutter. And all we're doing is adjusting the, the tension on the collet so that we can get a nice pop. Perfect. So you're now seeing a different milling cutter uh, set up in the collet chuck, because uh, I had to verify something. I was under the impression that collet chucks were accurate within about 0.01. However, I've tried several collets, several milling cutters, and I'm getting a run out of about 0.06. So having the collet system taken apart, we can see this tiny piece of swarf and that's the source of the run out. So we cleaned it, put it back together, give it a tap with a mallet. And although the initial setup does take a good few seconds, subsequent changeovers can be done literally within one second. So having cleaned the adapter, we reduced the error, halved the error to about 0.03. But considering this is meant to be within 01, this really still isn't ideal, but I think we found the source of the error we can see that that's the source of our run out. So in fact, the collet system is accurate. It's just that we need a new adapter. The one that we've been supplied looks to be running out. So even with our setup, which has got some run out due to a faulty adapter, the 5C collet is still getting you within the range of a very, very good brand new three jaw chuck about 0.03. There's another advantage of the 5C collet in that these are round section uh, collets, but they're also available as hexagonal section, square section, triangular section, whatever you want to match the stock form. So that massively reduces setup times where you normally need a four jaw chuck. There's also another advantage of this very lightweight collet compared to say this very heavy four jaw chuck. The greater the mass of the work holding device, the greater the centrifugal force when it's spinning at high velocity. So if you're machining a material that needs a high rate of RPMs, several thousands, then you're going to be limited by the actual rating of the chuck. So 5C collets are going to be able to spin at higher speeds. 
not only do they allow faster changeover, but also you can run them in CNC at very high velocities. So that uh, concludes our comparison of work holding devices. It's all about selecting the right one for the job. Nine times out of 10 for the average machine is a 3 gear chuck going to do the job, but it's all about keeping the scrolls clean. But we do have other options that we can use and bring them out as and when they're needed. So if you like this video, like, subscribe and comment, and we'll see you next week.